Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here. Possibly the first video that I've ever made on my front porch. And uh, I honestly was really surprised uh, by the news that I heard today that uh, Mike Goldberg um, is going to be leaving UFC after Friday night's UFC 209. I don't even know what number it's going to be. All I know is that Ronda Rousey's fighting. And um, honestly, in my opinion, um, I'm really surprised. I know that you know everybody knows about the story that Mike Goldberg almost left um, UFC back in about 2005 to jump ship to WWE um, when Vince McMahon was looking for a uh, number one broadcaster to be the new voice of WWE. Um, to replace Jim Ross, um, which honestly, even now, here we are in 2016, um, Jim Ross has been 100% gone from WWE for probably at least three years now, and they still don't have the full voice of WWE. Michael Cole, from time to time, is a really good announcer, but uh, honestly, uh, I don't know. I just Definitely during that whole time when they're doing the Cole versus Jerry thing, um, that, that really killed it. If you go back and watch older stuff, like WrestleMania 26, Cole was a damn good announcer. They just fucked him up and just made it to the point where I think nobody really wants to listen to the guy. He's been working for the company forever. So, I, I've heard no rumors. I mean, Mike Goldberg has worked for UFC for 20 years. Um, you know, if the guy wants to leave UFC and it's <clears throat> because of money, um, I'm, I'm sure that Bellator would love to bring him in. You know, there's always a chance that Vince... Would like to bring him in. They already have an outside project with uh, Ronaldo um, over on SmackDown, who honestly is killing it. Everybody who watches SmackDown or the uh, pay-per-views um, really thinks that he's a really great uh, announcer. And I know they have the whole brand split deal, um, and that's one reason why you just have him, you know, on, on SmackDown as well as on uh, 205 Live. Um, and he did the Cruiserweight Classic. But uh, I mean, if that guy really became the voice of WWE and was doing Raw and SmackDown as well. Um, he could kill it. And I mean, this guy is not going to be a guy who's going to complain about being overworked. Um, you know, if, if, when he's not doing wrestling, he's doing other things as well. So um, I say just hand it off to him. But um, what I was more surprised about the, more than Mike Goldberg leaving UFC is that his replacement is looking like it's going to be Jim Rome. I used to listen to Jim Rome a lot as a kid and as I was growing up. Um, I used to listen to him on uh, the, the sports radio station here. Um, I always dreamed about you know being a, a sports radio um, announcer. And I know that's what uh, my little buddy Alex is going to college for at the University of Washington, and I hope he achieves his dream. But I used to call into the radio stations here. I never called into the Jim Rome show, but I used to call into a lot of the other um, shows that I listened to, especially all the local ones, talking about the Oakland A's or the uh, Sacramento Kings or whatever the, the story of the day was. Um, and just basically trying to give my take or get a question in to get, get an answer out of what I thought um, the announcers were thinking about. But, um, you know, that was always my thing. So I loved listening to Romy. Um, he would come on here from 9 in the morning until noon. Um, I, I know that he was, had different shifts because it was basically shot all over the world. He's been on ESPN. He's been on Fox Sports. Um, I know that he has a show, Rome on Fire, but I honestly couldn't even tell you what channel it's on, but I know that he, I don't think he's part of the ESPN family, but if he is, um, I, I could be wrong. But uh, to me, honestly, um, Jim Rome is a guy that I think is going to come to UFC, and there's going to be some people that really like him, and there's going to be a lot of people that really hate this guy. I've never really heard him do announcing, but I have heard him do his radio show with his, you know, sort of commentary thing. I honestly have never even really heard him talk about UFC as well, but honestly, to me, when the Jim Rome show went downhill, it was because um, it, I realized that he had writers, and it wasn't just Jim Rome sitting in a room with a microphone um, shooting his shit. Uh, I saw a listing on Monster.com that they were hiring a writer for the show, and Honestly, ever since I saw that, it sort of seems like he's just reciting words off a piece of paper now. I just, he's just not the guy that I thought he was, and just, I lost the appeal for the show. I'm not saying if I flipped it on tomorrow and he had, you know, a funny guest on, or, you know, it was given one of his famous rants, I might, I might not laugh at it, but um, it just, it just, it's just not must listen radio anymore in my opinion it just sort of lost its appeal um you know they gotta fill it with somebody jim rome to me honestly is a little bit of a stretch i mean they they <coughs> i i honestly never thought um 
you know, I don't know what they would do. I, I mean, I, I mean, they, they don't really have a B team, and with UFC running so many shows, you got to wonder when when somebody's going to get burnt out, and that possibly is the reason why Goldberg is going to be leaving as well. But uh, we'll see. Jim Rome coming in, honestly, a little bit of surprise. Goldberg leaving, a bigger surprise, and um, it just you see so many people tweeting their thoughts on this. It's almost as if UFC is getting to the point where UFC is jumping the shark uh, because of the sale and so many things are changing in the company you gotta wonder when it's going to lose its appeal and when it's going to lose the buzz that it has right now